How's it going Star Seekers? My name's Luke and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Food Truck Arena. It's a car based arena battle game which kind of plays like Rocket League with a top down perspective and sees you going head to head against other food truck owners trying to score goals by knocking around a giant tomato. Now the premise of the game is relatively simple but the addition of special abilities and multiple arenas stand to mix things up a bit. So let's dive into this review and check out what the game has to offer and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to be notified of future reviews. So there is no real introduction to Food Truck Arena's storyline but it basically boils down to there being some kind of big tournament where food truck owners from different countries battle it out in order to be crowned champion of the culinary world. The game features two different game modes, those being tournament mode and single match and to start with we'll be checking out the single player tournament mode. Now tournament mode sees you selecting from one of four different characters, each hailing from a different country and having their own backstories explaining how they came to be top of their game. Completing tournament mode with these characters also unlocks four additional characters and aside from the visual aesthetics, each character's food truck comes with its own special ability which we'll get onto shortly. So tournament mode has you travelling from country to country facing off against different opponents and while the majority of these are one on one matchups, there are a few occasions when you team up with another NPC. The game's controls are relatively straightforward with accelerate and brake bound to L and R, the B button performing a small jump and skills being activated with the A button and the game features two different steering modes, the first kind of operating like micro machines and the second which is by far the easiest mode steers you towards wherever you point your analog stick. Regardless of which steering mode you select though, you'll no doubt find it takes a lot of getting used to, especially when trying to accurately dribble the tomato across the arena. Now gameplay in Food Truck Arena is like a simple game of Rocket League, minus the rockets of course and the objective in one on one matches is to score 3 or 4 goals before your opponent does. The matches in which you partnered up are instead time based with the winning team being the one who scored the most goals before the time is up but there aren't actually any other game types aside from these two and they do start to feel a little repetitive. Now to try and add some much needed variety to gameplay, each car's special ability provides players with a unique advantage. These range from tomato oil slicks to freeze rays and speed boosts and they're generally quite well balanced though the Indian lady's reverse ability is by far the most disruptive as it reverses all of your controls for several seconds. In addition to the abilities there are quite a few different arena shapes which do have an impact on how the ball moves around but you only unlock one of these per tournament so most of your time will be spent playing the same basic arena. Now overall I didn't find gameplay in Food Truck Arena to be too bad but it is still very basic and for me there just wasn't enough variety to keep me interested in playing tournament mode. The issue with this though is that the characters and match customization options available to you in free match mode are dependent on you unlocking them by completing tournament mode with each character. Now to me games like this and Rocket League are all about the multiplayer gameplay and so I don't really understand why you're forced to play alone if you want anything other than the standard arena setup and 4 default characters. Although the devs have put a decent amount of effort into developing the game's characters and storylines, I really think they should have focused more on the multiplayer side of things and got a little bit more adventurous with the match modes. Now when it comes to any issues I experience, the game really doesn't have any in terms of performance or bugs but for me the main problem with Food Truck Arena is in its controls and how they impact on gameplay. Unlike Rocket League where your car feels incredibly agile and you're able to boost to quickly change the direction of your car, in Food Truck Arena you're limited to driving everywhere and while you are able to perform a little jump, the primary use of this is to flip your car back onto its wheels. Now this lack of mobility only really serves to slow down gameplay and reduce skillful gameplay down to mastering your tomato dribbling skills and on many occasions you'll find yourself in a 4 car pile up in the corner of the arena as everyone struggles to free the ball. 
Now on the audio and visual side of things, I actually quite liked the game's choice of cell shaded graphics and I thought the designs of each food truck were also pretty cool. There are only 5 arenas in the game but they all look pretty good and I really like the artwork of the characters and the little comic strips which play at the end of each tournament. Audio wise, the game sounds fine, but there really isn't anything special to report about its sound effects or its chirpy music tracks. So in all, Food Truck Arena is not a bad game, it's just not overly enjoyable when you're playing it on your own against the computer. The lack of any online multiplayer means you're going to have to get friends around to play the game with you, and even then your fun will be limited by the amount of time you've put into tournament mode. When it comes to my own personal rating of the game, I'm going to be giving Food Truck Arena 2 out of 5 stars. If you're looking for an alternative to Rocket League which simplifies things and lowers the skill cap, then Food Truck Arena may be worth checking out. Just don't go in expecting too much from the game. And that's about it for this review of Food Truck Arena on the Nintendo Switch. Make sure to hit that like button if it helped you out, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the game in the comment section below. And if you watch my content regularly, then consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you're one of the 84% that haven't yet done so. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves, and game on.